hello guys so welcome today we are going to discuss and understand the folder structure of react in detail and in this video i am going to show you how react generates the default folder structure and how all this is working so let's go to our project which we created in our previous videos so we can see here we have three main folders under our application my first react app node modules public and source folder so let's start from the source folder because this is the heart of the react application and it contains all the javascripts and all the files and all the main components and uh, helper components and all the testing suits and all styling things are exist in this folder we have the if if i can say the entry point of react the entry point of react is also from this folder which is index.js so let's start from the entry point so in index.js we can see here we have some import uh, libraries uh, which are third party libraries like dom client uh, react dom and we have react uh, library uh, we use this objects uh, and you uh, so we can use in our on our page we can see here uh, this is the index.js but this all is not uh, completely like javascript because we we do not usually write the javascript in this way but what npm is doing it actually transform the javascript uh, uh, actually on the back end what is happening when we run the npm we start our projects uh, it actually transform all the code into the actual javascripts so this is all the backend work we you do not need to worry about so let's uh, let's see here we have one of the third party dependency react dom because our application is starting from here so we can see here react dom dot create root so what it, this actually uh, the object is doing it actually creating first it, it is actually finding the document dot get element by id it actually finding this document dot get element and once it's uh, we find this it actually rendered this component app component so what all this actually is happening like we can see here react dom dot create root so it actually finding this document dot get element by id if we go in our public folder we have one of the index file here index dot html this is the only html file we are using in the react because react only have only one html single file on this react html file we have this div element and in this div, div element we can see our id is equal to root so actually this react dom is actually finding this root element root id uh, div element and it inject all the react components here in this div we can see here uh, rest of all these pages uh, is not uh, for uh, for use if you need to uh, make title changes we can make here but uh, this uh, we all we are going to, uh, react is only going to use this div element right so go if we go back to index.js now once we find this uh, root element uh, then uh, we have this uh, root object uh, with this root object we are going to render this whatever component we have uh, for react uh, we are going to render in this root uh, in this div element right so this is the first part and the second part and here we can see re react dot strict mode so basically strict or what strict mode is doing a strict mode is a developer a react developer tool that is primarily used to identify potential issues in our in our application if we face any issues uh, in our development so uh, this actually uh, raise those warning and errors uh, and, and save us from uh, future issues and this is of uh, this actually is uh, because of this uh, react object the react object is providing all these functionalities and after that on this page we can see here report web vitals we we import this uh, uh, from uh, from here of this file this file is actually uh, for measuring performance of our application if we need to measure the performances we are going to use this right and after that we can see here if we, if i go in the in this app component this is the this is our first component 
So if I go in the app component, you can see it again, app.js. And uh, as you all know that uh, we do not write JavaScript in this way, but uh, React have provided a new thing, which is JSX. This is uh, the, um, the one of the thing which is React introduces in, in the React. Actually, what it is actually doing, it actually returns the HTML uh, uh, from this when we import this components uh, this all the HTML return uh, uh, through because of this JSX so this, uh, this is the JSX format we write the HTML in in the JavaScript files and this export uh, is actually when we import somewhere this this app component uh, we can easily use all this uh, functionalities because as you all know that in modern JavaScript, if you have any function and you and you want to use in another file, you need to export uh, uh, those things and import on those files. So we can see here in the index.jx, we have imported this and we are using this in, in this root.render. So uh, because uh, whatever we are we need to show here, we need to make a component and we to need to render in the root. Uh, root dot render so a root dot render what this is doing this is actually uh, taking our html and injecting this in the html uh, index.html file right so this is bas a basic understanding uh, how we uh, create the html's and how uh, this is showing on the pages right so moving to the next uh, part like we have app.js if we need to make some styling in, in our components we can write the separate file for css we uh, in, in, in uh, further we in, in the future we are going to discuss how we, we can use the inline styling as well as uh, on react uh, this components and then we have app.test files uh, uh, if we need to write some unit test for our, for our component we can write and then we have index.css file uh, if we need to make some styling for index.js file we can make a write in this file then we have logo and then we have i already discussed report web vitals if we need to measure the performance or of our application we can write in this folder and this file setup test.js this basically we can have the one unit test or many unit test as well as in our applications so we basically set up which uh, test needs to run first and all the configuration we do here and then we have git ignore this is also uh, this file actually is a standard file uh, is used by source control git to identify which files and folders are need to be ignored while committing the code until and unless this file exists uh, uh, if we need to uh, ignore some files we can write uh, the restrictions here and then we have uh, this package dot json and package log dot json so these are uh, also the important files because if we see in the package dot json we can write the file names uh, like we can say application name version uh, of the our application and dependencies and also it's importantly we can see here the react version because if we are working in a team uh, we need to make sure that we all are using the same react version and probably all the dependency versions so this file contain all the informations and it also uh, contain the uh, dependency uh, also the all the dependency files which we have in the node module so we can see here uh, which versions were installed on the on the node modules and also if you see in the uh, package.log.json uh, file it has all the details of all the packages and maintain its histories also so it maintain the complete history of uh, dependencies uh, those all of those we have here and then we have readme.md uh, this file is basically for the developers uh, who are going to download our, uh, our projects from the git uh, we write somehow we need to run our project how we need to test and build the projects we write all the instructions this is for all of them so this is all about the source folder it contain our Com or complete component details and also folder and how we are managing our components so we can manage uh, all these things here and uh, how we are going to test those uh, uh, if we need to write a unit test we need to manage here and this is also the entry point of our uh, initial execution like index.js so all this is starting from here so now move to the public folder 
So in public folder, we contain the static files uh, such as HTML file, JavaScript files, images, other assets uh, and uh, files which we don't want to proceed by the web packages. And also in this folder, this folder is, uh, is useful if we want to di directly add some files uh, on, on our build, like if we need to copy some files in the build, we can put here in, in our public folder, right? And also all the files which are in the public folder uh, can be referenced from the HTML. If the file outside the public folder, it, they cannot be referenced in, in this HTML file, right? So, and then we have the favicon icon, uh, the icon which we show on the top of our tabs, tab bars on the on the web pages. Then we have some uh, logos and we have manifest.json. So this manifest.json file is actually, it provides the information and provides the information of the application actually such as the names author name icons and description in a json text formats right and then we have the robots dot text file uh, this file is also very helpful uh, this file create uh, and design uh, de create basically created by the designers uh, to prevent the search engines and boots to crawl up their sites so sometimes uh, so, uh, if you need to pass some protection here uh, from the uh, from the hackers or we can say people who are going to uh, uh, get our data from the search engines or uh, boots uh, people run some boots also on, on the in the real world so we are going if we need to put add some protection we can write here all these things so this is uh, also the uh, uh, details about the public folder the one thing we need to remember uh, react is uh, using only the one HTML file which was index.html in the public folder and all the react components uh, which we are going to make in future they all are going to inject in the div here in the div root like if we make some changes we add some components or remove some components on the UI like if I go on the web page and if I add some uh, components here and here all are going to be we can say injected in this div element, right? And then in the last, we have the node modules. Uh, basically, this is also one of the important folder because this directly contain all the React dependencies, packages, like because we, like we discussed two, two of them, React and React DOM. So it going to uh, have all the dependencies and their transactive dependencies like web package, Babel, and many more and also these all packages are going to help us in build and run the react project so when we first install the react project this all packages are downloaded automatically because uh, we, you can see when you download the uh, install the react there is uh, it takes uh, some time in downloading all these packages and this folder contain the dependencies also the sub dependencies specified in the package.json like I show you earlier, we have package.json. So in the package.json, we provide the version numbers. So uh, it pro it downloads the dependencies and also their sub dependencies also. Uh, we do not need to do anything. We just need to install the React and it automatically download all the dependencies and sub dependencies. And it contain I I think it contain more than 800 folders, and it's a huge number, you can say. So uh, this is all about the all these uh, folders. Like I tell you, node modules. It has all the dependencies and subdependencies of the React, and it help us to run and build the projects. And also in public folder, it has the main HTML file uh, and contain the other static files which we need to directly add in the project. Uh, and if we add some static files or some uh, protection things, we can write here. And then we have source folder. This is the heart of the React application because we are going to add all the components, all the testing things, and all of the stylings in this folder. And this is actually the entry point of the React project, like I discussed index.js. This is the entry point. Uh, this entry point says I'm going to this dev element and going to inject this component. So guys, this is all for today. If you have any question or any difficulty in understanding the React project or any file, you can easily reach out to me through emails and also comment me on my videos and subscribe to this channel. Thank you and enjoy coding.